Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So I thought this would be a kind of a fun lecture where I could talk a little bit about what's the story with Sprint Kick. Where did we start? How did we end up where we are today? So a lot of people don't actually realize this, but I actually started Sprint Kick, drum roll, in India. Not Indiana, actually in India. I had moved there to start it. So before Sprint Kick, I actually worked with a venture capital firm. And a lot of what I did is I would embed myself with small teams that had only received a moderate amount of funding and were going for their next big round. The number one thing I saw over and over and over again was the inability to recruit technical people and find good engineers. And so that's kind of where I came up with the idea that, well, it seems like everybody should actually have the opportunity to outsource or at least contract out this work. They just need to get over the stigma and they need someone who can actually help them bridge the communication problem with a contractor or the project management problem with an outsource firm. So in one of the crazier decisions I've made in my life, I decided to actually move to a city called Hyderabad. And in Hyderabad, well, I did, wasn't immediately successful at first. Once I was actually in India, what I did is I started putting together the best team I could. I have a lot of experience with outsourcing and I had known that the only difference between a good project with an outsourced team and a bad project with an outsourced team is your project management layer. The people who build your projects in other countries, they're just every bit as brilliant technically as the people that you would hire, say in the United States or in Europe. The problem is just communication and the problem is just different standards. So I knew that I could insert myself into the mix and I could essentially be the catalyst from taking cheap and turning it into good. It took a lot of time and a lot of grinding it out. Uh, it took a lot of learning. Learning how to hire in India is incredibly strange and incredibly difficult. I learned that we had problems with putting people of the same religion in the same room. I had learned that certain people have problems with air conditioning as other ones do not. I'd learned that holiday schedules were incredibly difficult to build around. Nevertheless, it only took about a year before I put together the core team and had built out a client base that actually could support um, growing the company. And what I actually did is I started growing backwards. So after that, I actually worked backwards and started adding people in-house in the United States. A lot of people do it the other way around, right? They start with employees and then they add contractors on top of that. There's no reason you can't do it the other way around. So fast forward pretty much three years later, I've learned a ton about running web development businesses. I've snowballed a lot of mistakes and I've kind of accumulated a lot of strategies and skills and I've put this all pretty much into this course. Now where we are today, we're a referral only agency. And what that means is we only accept new clients if we have a referral. We've finally gotten to the point where we can pick exactly who we want to work with because we know we're at the size that we're happy with and we know that we have a growth rate that we're happy with.